the uh, India ASEAN Film Festival, ASEAN India Film Festival, which uh, uh, Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Rajavardhan Singh Rathor is uh, inaugurating right now. He's addressing this uh, film festival. Mr. Chaitanya Prasad, our ADG for uh, film fest festivals. And of course, we have uh, ambassadors from uh, ASEAN countries, uh, uh, actors, uh, Movie makers, directors, producers, they all are here, and a large number of audience here as well, friends from the media. Well, as the name suggests, uh, for the next six days, there's going to be an extravaganza of films here from 11 countries. I believe there are about 32 films which will be uh, screened here from 11 countries. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, potpourri of films that we all could get to see. We've been constantly uh, looking at ways and means to interact with our ASEAN nations. Uh, we, we believe this friendship is very important to us, and we have a lot of common factors. Uh, historically, there are many common factors, and uh, even in terms of art, culture, there are many commonalities that you find with ASEAN countries. We've had the occasion of uh, some of the leaders come and join us for the Youth Summit a couple of months ago with uh, the Ministry of External Affairs and uh, the Ministry of Youth Affairs. We had the occasion of co-hosting. We had some brilliant young people come from ASEAN nations and interact with each other. We also, I believe, had uh, an occasion of inviting the musical bands from these 11 nations and they, they played on different days and entertained, and uh, we learned the, the, the art of music and the various songs and uh, the music that these countries, different countries play. Like I mentioned, uh, when we come together and interact with each other, we find that uh, there are a lot of things which we learn about each other through our uh, language, through our uh, food, uh, through our uh, culture. And that we find is basically uh, we, may be, we may be restricted within geographical boundaries of various countries, but finally we are one people in this one planet. Uh, there are a lot, lot of similarities with each other. Uh, in, the, uh, in the Ministry of Information Broadcasting, we have been taking a lot of measures to create these uh, film festivals, be it with the ASEAN uh, countries, uh, for the BRIC nations, for the European nations, We've also taken our film festivals across the borders to different countries, and we find that this becomes a very interesting point of conversation, and it lightens up the environment of uh, the further interaction with uh, the diplomats. When we were sitting before coming into this hall, we had a very interesting conversation on Indian films, and uh, it'll be a pleasure for all the diplomats, not just ones present here, but also those who are not here, to uh, regularly screen Indian commercial films, uh, because I, I know when I used to be traveling as an athlete to different countries, one very easy point of conversation used to be when they would start naming our film stars or some of the dialogues from our films. And they would actually uh, remember the songs from fil films which probably we, even we did not remember. So these are, these are ways and methods that uh, we uh, improve our friendship and bonds with each other, and we will certainly continue to look forward to it. We've also created a film facilitation cell in the Ministry of Information Broadcasting for any, uh, for any of the producers from any countries to come and produce films in our country by a single window clearance. So we've, we've, uh, we've reduced all the bureaucracy there is the red tapism there is to, to film in India and made it more simpler for uh, the artists and producers from other countries to come and shoot in India. Because uh, when you go and visit any of the historic sites, the guides there who are, uh, who, who are guiding you, uh, these days never forget to mention, apart from the history of the, the architecture and the monument, they also mention about what film was screened here. And uh, I remember when I went to uh, Mongolia, uh, I mentioned to the, uh, the, uh, the, the minister there that uh, you know, Mongolia is very beautiful, and I think what you need is more Indians to come and visit Mongolia. And he said, well, all I have to do is get one film to be shot in Mongolia, and the Indians will start visiting this place. So that's the power of cinema. It's the, the, uh, the largest, it's the most powerful mass media 
method of communicating to each other. We break barriers, we break, uh, break boundaries, and language is no longer a barrier when we see cinema. It's basically an art of storytelling, and all of our countries have lovely stories to tell each other. And I think uh, there's, of course, theater, there's other forms of storytelling, but this cinema happens to be the, the most powerful method of storytelling. Now, whether the story is from Azerbaijan or from Myanmar or from Singapore or from India or from Thailand or any other country, it doesn't really matter because humans and emotions are the same everywhere. And that's what makes us one people. And so I welcome you again for this film festival. I hope you enjoy this. And for the next six days, all the films that are there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. May I request Honorable Minister, sir, to please be with us uh, as we would like to felicitate our film personalities. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Harlef Mohammed from Singapore. So Colonel Rajavardhan Singh Dittor, uh, the Information Broadcasting Minister, inaugurating the ASEAN India Film Festival. Uh, the six-day extravaganza will be a platform for the film industry to showcase, uh, you know, about 32 films from 11 ASEAN countries. The f festival celebrates the excellence of cinema by showcasing films, as I said, from uh, the ASEAN countries. And the minister stressing on the need for, uh, you know, uh, films being the agents of cultural exchange and people-to-people -people contacts.